Happy 2023. Isn't it nice to see the sun shining for us this morning? So um, the past, oh, it's been a little while now, I would say. Um, I've seen people standing up here sort of telling the story of how and why they ended up at Crosswalk. And I ended up at Crosswalk because I believed it to be a place that cared about the community. It cared about people and cared about things uh, that mattered. And so um, I, uh, uh, her, I, you know, it's January the 1st. Give me a little bit of grace here. So um, <laughs> I think Crosswalk is a place where um, folks are naturally curious. And I would say that it's a place where oftentimes we take some beliefs that we've held for a long time. We take them out and examine them and see if they're still true, if they still make sense. And um, I would say that lots of times over the past year, I feel like I've taken some long held belief of mine and examined it or found something new um, that I didn't know. And I, I thank Pete for that being true. I would say last year in the month of February, there were a lot of things that I learned about black history and the church that were um, brand new to me because I think that we were taught, you know, sort of a sanitized version of history. Uh, in September on Rosh Hashanah, I learned things about anti-Semitism in the church that I didn't know to be true. So um, recently I had um, approached Pete about something that I had not heard discussed during my admittedly rather short time here at Crosswalk, which was human trafficking and modern day slavery. And by passion and by vocation, I work for an anti-trafficking organization. And by definition, there's two kinds of human trafficking. There's labor trafficking and there's sex trafficking. I happen to work for an organization that helps women who are survivors of sex trafficking reintegrate into their communities and rebuild their lives after um, being uh, a victim of trafficking. And current estimates, um, they're, the numbers kind of vary widely because sometimes they count cases, sometimes they count individuals, but there's somewhere between 29 million and 41 people who are estimated to be currently victims of human trafficking. If you do the math, that's um, roughly one in every 200 people, one in every 200 people is a victim of human trafficking. So the month of January happens to be Human Trafficking Awareness Month, and Pete has very graciously allowed me the opportunity, I'll be speaking in church on Sunday, January the 22nd, about human trafficking, and it will be a little bit of um, what I would call Human Trafficking 101. We're gonna do a little bit of myth busting, and we'll also look at um, what, what God and the Bible has to say about the subject of justice. And then springing out of that, um, that Sunday discussion, I'm going to be leading together with my friend, Emily Vagoda. Emily, raise your hand if you don't know Emily. She and I are going to be co-leading an eight-week study on God's heart for justice. And that's going to start at the end of the month. It's going to start on Monday, January the 30th right here at Crosswalk from 7 p.m. Uh, until roughly about 8.15 at night. And I know um, lots of you folks know, because I've stood up here and said it before, that I'm from Indiana. And another famous Hoosier is David Letterman. And David Letterman likes to, um, you know, he had those top 10 lists. So um, since yesterday, I made a top five list of reasons why you should think about coming. The first one is it's 2023. It's a brand new year. It's a chance to do a new thing, to meet some new people, to learn some new stuff. And so if you were waiting for a sign, this is it. Here's your sign. Number four, there's no long-term commitment required. You can come all of the eight weeks. You can come to one of the eight weeks if you come and you don't like it or you think it's weird or it makes you um, uncomfortable, which frankly, I'm okay if you're uncomfortable, but if you decide that you don't like it, you can quietly excuse yourself to go to the restroom and just not come back. 
that would be okay. <laughs> Number three, it's open to anyone. So that means anyone who's listening, anyone who's watching. You want to bring a friend? That's cool. You can bring a friend as well. Um, number two, we just all went through Christmas, so if your wallet is feeling a little bit light, the good news is there's no book to buy. All you have to do is show up. Um, so uh, that's a thing, too. And number one, um, like I said at the beginning, I believe that Crosswalk is a place that cares deeply about the community, that it cares um, about matters of social justice. And so you may have filled out a questionnaire recently that said, I want to get connected, I want to be involved, I want to meet some people, or I want to learn a new thing. And so um, Emily and I hope that you'll avail yourselves of this opportunity. So thanks for listening to me on this first Sunday in January.